Uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, or whatever time of day it is for you. It's our month of prayer. It's the 11th of March, and we are praying for government. Praise God that the ultimate expression of government is not found in a democracy, but it is found in a theocracy where God rules and it is found on the shoulders of Jesus. He is the one who carries ultimate authority and from him all authority flows. Isaiah 9, 6, you know it well, to us a child is born, to us a son is given and the government will be upon his shoulders. He's called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Because God's extraordinary government is best expressed in the person of Jesus. That wisdom, that power, that love and that peace emanate from the place of government. What we see today in any government, in any politics, is a weak, watered-down representation of Jesus' perfect government. But we also believe every government is established by the Lord, regardless of your personal party political affiliation. Daniel 2.21 says that he, the Lord, changes times and seasons. He deposes kings and raises up others. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. This creates the space and momentum for you and I to take up our responsibility to pray, support, and uphold those in both national and local government. We're not called to be a complaining people or a tweeting people, but primarily we are called to be a people of prayer. We should write to our MPs and local councillors. We should call out injustice and lack of integrity, but it should all be done from the position of prayer. So as we pray throughout this day, let us pray blessing and wisdom. Let us pray for peace and the right use of power for all those in governmental authority. And in so doing, acknowledge that God is working all things for good. Have a wonderful day.